everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the Too Faced Christmas in London makeup set and the Too Faced Hangover RX lip balm. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favorite, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. First, gonna start off with the lip balm set and then we'll move on to the makeup set. This lip balm retails for $35 at Ulta Beauty and Too Faced Online. I do wanna read a little bit about this set on Ulta's website. Too Faced Hangover Pillow Lip Balm Ultra Hydrating and Nourishing Lip Treatment Set hydrates and replenishes your pout with four travel size exclusive shades and scents that will take you into the holidays and beyond. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Lip Balm. You have a picture of all four of the lip balms that are included. It comes with the original and three new exclusive shades. When you turn it over, over on the back, you have a picture of what all four shades look like and the ingredients are listed on the bottom. On top of the packaging, it says Too Faced. On the bottom of the packaging, it states that it was made in Canada. Here's what the first lip balm looks like. Here's what the other three lip balm shades look like. First, gonna start off with the original. Here's a closer look at what the packaging looks like. It says Too Faced Hangover RX Pill Lip Balm Lip Treatment. There's nothing on the other side of the packaging. The bottom of the packaging, it states that it was made in Canada. You get four milliliters of product or 0.14 fluid ounces. It says that the original lip balm smells like coconut. Let's see if that's accurate. Yeah, it does have a coconut scent to it. It smells very good. Here's what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's just a clear lip balm. I want to see how it feels on the lips. I'm going to press my lips together. I like how the formula feels on my lips. It doesn't feel thick. I can feel that there's something on my lips. The next shade is called Frost Yourself. This shade has the name printed on the bottom, whereas the original didn't have the shade name. It just had where it was made and the amount of product that was included. This smells exactly like peppermint. It smells so good. Here's what Frost Yourself looks like, another clear lip balm, but this one has a little bit of shimmer in it. I only applied one coat of this lip balm and you can see the shimmer specks on my lips. The next shade is called Watermelon Kiss. It smells exactly like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It smells so yummy. This shade has a little bit of tint to it. Watermelon Kiss has a slight pink tint to it. It looks really nice on the lips. The last shade in the set is called Candy Cane Bang. Again, this shade smells like peppermint. This shade is a hot pink. It does have a bit of shimmer in it. Again, you can see the shimmer specks on my lips. I'm gonna press my lips together to see if I can feel any of the shimmer. I like that the formula isn't gritty at all and I cannot feel the shimmer specks. Here's what all four lip balm shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. I'm gonna reapply the first shade in the original Hangover lip balm. I really do like this lip balm set, but I prefer the clear shades over the shimmer shades. Now let's move on to the Christmas in London makeup set. The Christmas in London makeup set retails for $45 at Ulta Beauty and Too Faced Online. I do want to read a little bit about this set on Ulta's website. Transport yourself to London with an exclusive Too Faced palette of 20 eyeshadows in a variety of finishes, plus four essential face products that give you endless options to create any look you want. Top with a coat of best-selling Better Than Sex Mascara. Here's a closer look at what the packaging looks like. I love the details on the packaging. It says Too Face up at the top. You have Santa and his sleighs. You have Big Ben. On the bottom of the packaging, it says Christmas in London Limited Edition Makeup Collection. On the back of the packaging, you have a picture of the 20 eyeshadows and the four blush shades, and you also get a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Down at the bottom, you have the ingredients listed. It does state here that the bulk was made in the USA, but it was assembled in the Dominican Republic. On top of the packaging, there isn't anything. Down at the bottom, there's just the barcode, and it states it in a different language. On the sides of the packaging, it's the continuation of the design. 
just opens up like this. Here's a little peek of what's inside. So first up, we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then there's this flap here. what the actual palette looks like. It is made out of cardboard. The palette itself does have the same design as the outer packaging. The texture feels raised on the packaging. On the back of the packaging, it says Too Faced, and it says Christmas in London. Down at the bottom, again, it says Bulk was made in the USA, but it was assembled in the Dominican Republic. Here's what the makeup palette looks like. Again, the details on the flap is beautiful. Here's what all 20 eyeshadows look like and the four blushes. We're first going to start off with the blushes, then we'll swatch the eyeshadows. The first blush shade in the palette is called The People's Princess. I'm going to blend this out a little bit. Here's what the first blush shade looks like. Taking a clean blush brush, let's dip into the shade in The People's Princess. I have a little bit of that shade on my brush. This shade is not a blush shade, it's definitely a highlighter. Taking my damn beauty blender, I'm just gonna go over this. There we go, and now my cheek is back to normal. Let's try that out one more time. Using a highlighter brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in The People's Princess. There we go, that's a beautiful highlighter. Next shade is called Pretty and Punk. This is an actual blush. Here's what that blush shade looks like. That's a beautiful blush shade. Now I'm going to be using my blush brush and dip into the shade in Pretty and Punk. Here's what the blush shade in Pretty and Punk looks like. The next blush shade is called Carnaby Sweet. Here's what Carnaby Sweet looks like. Taking a clean blush brush, we're gonna dip into the shade in Carnaby Sweet. Here's how much product is on my blush brush. Let's see what it looks like applied on the cheek. Again, this shade is gorgeous. The last blush shade in the palette is called Spice Girl. Another beautiful blush shade. Let me blend this out again. I soften the left side of the blush shade using my damp beauty blender. Now let's see what the shade in Spice Girl looks like. Again, I'm taking a clean blush brush. Wow, the shade in Spice Girl is super pigmented. Another gorgeous pigmented blush. Here's what the three blush shades and the highlighter looks like swatched on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take whatever's left over of the shade in Spice Girl and apply it to this side of my cheek. That way we're all evened out. Sometimes I get carried away with blush. And then I'll just go over it using my damp beauty blender. I love this blush shade in Spice Girl, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna go back in and dip into the highlighter shade in The People's Princess, apply it to this side of my cheek. Taking whatever's left over on my highlighter brush and applying it to this side of my cheek. Here's what the blush in the highlighter shade looks like. It's so beautiful. Now let's move on to the eyeshadows. The first shade is called Cremo Vibes. This is so soft in the pan. That's swatched very smoothly on the back of my hand. Let's blend this out a bit. The second shade in the palette is called Christmas Queen. Another soft shadow. Next up we have Figgy Pudding. That shade is gorgeous. The last shade in the top row is called Tea at the Ritz. Here's what the first four shadows look like in the palette. First shade in the second row is called You Can't Hide. barely see that shade, so I'm going to build it up. Now 
The next shade is called Tower of Loving. Again, that shade kind of blended away, so I'm going to build it up. Super soft in the pan. Again, that shade blended out into nothing, so I'm going to build it up. The last shade in the second row is called Butter My Biscuits. Wow, that shimmer shadow is stunning. The first shade in the third row is called Too Faced at Carnaby. another gorgeous shimmer shade. The next shade is called Piccadilly Thrilly. This is the first matte shade I actually really like. Next shade is called Boxing Day. Another beautiful shimmer. The last shade in the third row is called Mulled Wine. Wow, that's so pretty. Another beautiful shimmer shadow. First shade in the fourth row is called Abbey Snowed. Again, I'm going to go over that shade. The next shade is called Baking in the Tent. Next up, we have Press for Champagne. That shade is actually pretty. The last shade in the fourth row is called Father Christmas. Another stunning shimmer. The first shade in the last row is called Christmas in Cotswold. Again, that shade kind of blended out into nothing, so I'm going to build it up. The shade is called London, actually. The second to last shade is called Last Christmas. The last shade in the palette is called Spotted Dick. Wow, that's super pigmented. And blend it out very nicely. Here's what all 20 shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. Now we're going to create a look using this palette. Taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into the shade in Christmas Queen. Applying this all over the crease, going back and forth using windshield wiper motions. Wow, that shade is so pigmented. Taking a flat brush, I'm going to dip into the shadow in Seville Bow. Pack this shadow all over my lid. I honestly was not expecting that lavender shade to show up. It is so gorgeous. Using that first blending brush, I'm going to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Taking that same flat brush, I'm going to dip into the shadow in Figgy Pudding, applying it to the center of my lid, using my finger, 
that's much better. Taking a clean flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the shadow in Too Faced at Carnaby, applying this shade in the inner portion of my eye, blending it a little bit with the shadow in Figgy Pudding. That shadow really brightened up the eye. I got a little bit of fallout, but that's totally fine. Using a clean pointed brush, I'm gonna dip into the shadow and butter my biscuits. Apply this shade in the very inner corner of my eye. There we go, I gave it that pop that we needed. For mascara, I'm gonna apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Here's a closer look on what the mascara looks like. You get 4.8 grams of product or 0.17 ounces. This has a six month shelf life and it states it was made in Italy. Here's what the wand looks like. For lips, I'm gonna apply the Hangover RX Pillow Bomb. This is the original shade. Here's what everything looks like. If you're a Too Faced collector, you won't be disappointed with the packaging. The eyeshadows, on the other hand, are a different story. The blush shades are super pigmented. Same thing with the highlight, very pigmented. The eyeshadows didn't really wow me. I can create a similar look using the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. I did have to go over a couple of these shades in this palette just because it wasn't showing up. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking this up this year or if you already have it in your collection. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.